widgets and layouts. In this section, we will talk about different widgets and layouts. From display widgets, such as label, to editable widgets, like a line edit. Then, we will talk about layouts and tabs. In the video 2.1, Display Widgets, you are going to learn how to display texts in label and text browser widgets, then how to display images in the label widgets. Lastly, you will learn how to make use of a progress bar. Now let's get started. Create a new Qt widgets application project. It should be a QMAN window based project. If you remember what we did in previous videos, double click the manwindow.ui file to the design mode. Now we are going to design the user interface. Now we are going to drag a label widget into the view. Then we are going to drag and drop the text browser widget. Change the layout of the central widget to lay out horizontally. Because we are going to set the same text source for these two widgets, we will do it in the source code. With the default properties, label widgets doesn't wrap the text. That's why you see the widgets gets awkwardly long. By contrast, text browser will make a scroll panel and embed the text displaying widgets inside. The text gets wrapped automatically in text browser and it works like a read-only editor. You can select and copy the selection. You may wish to take a look at text browser's documentation and check the property panel in design mode. You will see what properties you have to tweak this widget. Now let's go to the fun part, showing an image in label widget. So I will use a cat picture to demo. So I will use a cat picture to demo this. Let's first remove text browser widgets from the view. Go back to manwindow.cpp. We are use QPix map.
It's so simple that all you need to do is to load pictures from the file. Then call set picks math method of the label widget. This method will display the picks map on the screen. Now, if you give your application a run. You see the image is shown on the screen in this label widget as we expect. The last bit of this video is about the progress bar. Go back to the UI design. Remove all the widgets. Now we drag a progress bar into the view. If you check the property panel, by default it has a value 24. Here we are going to set it back to 0. So the initial state makes more sense. Also by default, the step value range is from 0 to 100, as you can see here. You might want to change it if you have special need. We will make use of the progress bar's built-in slot function called setValue, but in this demo, we will just use it as a regular member function. And I'll use Queue Timer to update the progress bar every half second. So firstly, let's create a slot. Then we're going to create a Queue Timer that times out every half second. We set interval to half second. Then we connect the timeout signal. After the signal connected, we start the timer. By default, the queue timer emits timeout signal repeatedly after the interval time. But if you want it to only emit the signal once and stop afterwards, you need to set the single shot to true. Now let's get to the slot part. We first get the current value from the progress bar. We check the value if it's greater than 100. If it's greater or equal to 100, then we ignore it, because the progress bar has already been full. Otherwise, we increment the value by 1 and set it back to the UI progress bar. If you run the application now, you can see the progress bar incrementing the value every half second. In the real life, this should, of course, reflect some meaningful process 